Good morning. Following breaking news this Independence Day morning, three people have died after a house fire on Huntington Avenue. This is just a few blocks away from Shoshone Park. News 4's Abby Fritman is there live for us. Abby. Chris and Kelsey, good morning. It is a truly gut-wrenching scene here on Huntington Avenue. Three people are dead this morning. A father and two daughters died in this house fire. Take a look at the house. It is completely demolished. The entire back half of the house has been charred. We know that the mother of the two daughters was taken to ECMC and is being treated for injuries right now. We also know another daughter was not inside the home at the time of the fire. Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo tells us she is visiting from out of town. Fire officials received reports that people were trapped inside this home and needed to be rescued from the second floor and from the attic. That happened around 3.30. Ronaldo says getting them out of the house was incredibly difficult. Uh, first arrived, uh, the report of uh, people trapped in the attic, second floor of the attic. Uh, three people were, three victims were uh, taken out of the, the mother survived. She's at the ECMC. The father and uh, two daughters perished in the fire. It's very difficult anytime uh, you know, anyone perishes in a fire. It's very difficult. Uh, physically, mentally, uh, it was physically demanding as well because the victims had to be removed. Uh, as I said, from the attic and the second floor, so that part wasn't easy. So the crews uh, did an amazing job. Fire investigators, Buffalo police detectives, and also the crime scene unit have been here throughout the morning, and you can see the windows have blown out of the house almost completely. The back has been completely charred, and. and for a while, they were blasting it with water. We saw flames from the attic. We saw a lot of sparks coming from the house as well. We uh, got the chance to speak with some neighbors who say that the heat from the house fire actually melted some of the siding on their home. Uh, right now, it's unclear just how much damage was done to that home, but Commissioner Ronaldo says that house is a total loss, just truly devastating for that entire family and for the community as well. We'll continue to keep you updated all throughout the morning, both on air and online, as we continue to learn more about the cause of this fire. Commissioner Ronaldo did give us an update and say that fireworks were not involved in causing this fire. For now, reporting live in North Buffalo, Abby Fridman, News 4. All right, Abby, thank you. Just